This is America's longest train. I should clarify, it's not physically the longest train by number of passenger cars, it's the longest in distance traveled by a single train, taking us from Chicago, Illinois, to Los Angeles, California, over four whole days. I'm Michael, and I'm traveling by rail from the most southern train station in America to the most northern, and riding America's most iconic, historic, and interesting trains this country has to offer. This is Downey Live Travels by Train, season two. And so, we're starting right here. And of course, I'm taking my dad with me. We're starting Chicago Union Station. You couldn't convince most people to sit on a train for four days, but my dad is retired, and he just has the right attitude. He's willing to go anywhere at any time. I like to think I got a little bit of that from him. They've already started boarding the train, so no lounge for us today. Head straight on board. And like any good adventure, we're already having troubles finding our passenger car. Room A. This isn't a sleeper car. No, we gotta get off this coach. But we did stumble into an old friend. Look who it is! What's Caesar! Going on, good to see you! Good to see you Hopefully we see more of Caesar on this trip. For those who don't remember, Caesar was my car attendant when I rode the Amtrak California Zephyr. But back to this trip. So we have the roomettes here. One on each side. My dad and I have a bedroom this time because they're twice as big. I've never stayed in a bedroom before. Let me give you a room tour. Okay, so we have our bedroom, a bench, couch, seats three. We also have another seat around the corner behind my dad. This will fold down into one bunk and this will slide out into one bunk. So we're sleeping here. We have our own sink, mirror, and a bathroom. Walk in, very nice, with a shower. Hello, hello. If this is how it's starting, I think we'll go insane <laughs> after four days. It's small, but it's comfortable. Should we, it's the biggest they offer. Yeah. So it's not considered small in the Amtrak world. Uh, I should tell you, I paid over $2,000 for this room for my dad and I to go from Chicago to LA, just in case you're wondering about price. Worth every penny. So far, we'll find out. And so while we sit back and relax and wait for the views to start rolling, now's a good time to talk about laundry. Which brings us to the sponsor of today's video, True Earth, because they've got us covered in all stages of laundry. From the laundry bag that I bring with me when I travel to put all my dirty clothes into, to the plastic free hamper that I use when I get home, to doing the actual laundry using their amazing laundry eco strips. This is the product I fell in love with. It's plastic free, lightweight, biodegradable, compostable, packaging is recyclable, the strips themselves are paraben free and phosphate free, and they work in both top loading or front loading machines in either hot water or cold water. Basically, you can't go wrong. It's as simple as tearing open the packaging, pulling out a strip, using one strip for a regular load or two for a big load. And their new scent happens to be Lilac Breeze, which is, that's nice. So if you wanna help save the planet and switch to the True Earth Laundry Eco Strips, Click the link in the description below the video and use discount code DOWNY for 10% off. He can't ever go on vacation. And so, without much waiting around, we're off and headed out of the Windy City. I'm hoping to uh, spend four days in peace and quiet, first of all. I want to see almost all of America in one swoop and uh, I'm going to enjoy your company. Kind of hope for the same thing. <laughs> a nice relaxing trip, some food, wake up every morning with a different view and not know what's going to happen that day, but have no plans. Mississippi. Uh, no, it's the Chicago River. He's just excited. The train runs through the industrial back roads of Chicago before running into small towns of Illinois. We've been going for about 20, 25 minutes and we're already out in, out of the city. That was quick. Now that is Joliet Union Station. And that's one of the things I enjoy about these trips is getting to see all the different stations. And on this train in particular, you get to see the most. I'm gonna have the Atlantic salmon. Let's go with the baked ziti, please. With our dinner order in, it's time for us to sit back and enjoy the passing scenery. It's nice seeing us go faster than the traffic. No platform on either side. But we have stopped because we're in the station of Pontiac, Illinois. And the reason I wanted to see it is because my first job was at a Pontiac dealership. Let's go find the cafe. Oh, that's handy. We are 
the closest bedroom to the dining car. This is what Amtrak calls a diner lounge. It's not a full dining car, but rather a half dining car and half cafe on the other side. So I grabbed some pretzels and a coffee and joined my dad at a table because unfortunately, this train does not have an observation car. So this is the only social space we can use. So this journey will have our train changing in San Antonio. And I'll explain that later, but basically, this is the only communal area for us, is this single car that's half cafe, half dinette. Uh, but we should get a proper dining car tomorrow. And so my dad will have to hold his excitement for the observation car a little longer. I mean, we still hadn't realized our food situation would be disappointing. The name of the station is Normal, Illinois. Imagine telling that to someone who doesn't know you yet. Where are you from? Normal. Okay. I wonder what someone from Normal is called. If you know the answer, leave it in the comments below. But is it a Normalite? A Normalin? A Normaler? Now, the beauty of taking the train is truly seeing all of America. From farms, to backyards, to small towns, to big cities. Now, I should mention that this route is not typically a bucket list trip for most people. In fact, for the last two years, my dad and I have taken some incredible train journeys together from the northern train that takes you to the polar bears in Canada or on Canada's most luxurious Rocky Mountaineer train. And well, I hope he's not expecting a similar experience to those. In fact, some would say that spending four days on an Amtrak train sounds like a nightmare trip. Well, for me, I'm looking forward to spending some time with my dad. Hopefully he feels the same, but only time will tell how this goes. Here we are in Springfield, and that is the Illinois State Capitol. And the clouds here really remind me of Springfield, The Simpsons. Well, I think we can say we fully settled in now and we're ready to see America. But just as we get comfortable, dinner time, here we go. So it's back to the diner lounge, which to clarify, is not an official dining car. That will be attached tomorrow, along with the observation car. I've never had a shorter walk from my bedroom to the restaurant that we have, that's great. So in the meantime, we're eating microwaved meals off the flexible dining menu. This is the pasta and meatballs. Looks good, smells good. Meals are included in the ticket price, but with another three nights on board, I can tell you, my dad and I are both left looking forward to the proper dining car where food is actually cooked on board. That's it, the gateway to the west. Sort of on the level of the Eiffel Tower, you look at it, you know exactly where you are in the world. Okay, we've got a bridge. Dad, I gotta ask you, which river is this? This is the Mississippi River. There we go. There we are with the arch above it. This is the Mississippi River this time, which means it's the first time I've ever entered Missouri. It also means it's already our second state of the trip with many more to come. And I have to admit, I've only seen the St. Louis Gateway Arch in photos, but with the buildings in the background here, you can really see how big it is. This is really starting to feel like a tour of America. Now, before I get too distracted, my favorite Amtrak dessert has arrived. You've got to try this. Mmm, it's uh, soft. Is that not a delicious brownie? Other than the meals, the other excitement we'll have on this trip are the fresh air stops. St. Louis! All right, St. Louis is a crew changeover spot and a refuel spot, so we, ha we actually have about 55 minutes here, which is really rare. I just realized we're wearing the same shirt, but in different colors, and you've got nice. the long sleeve, I've got the short sleeve. I got the long okay. sleeve, you know why? Why? So I can be warm while being cool. <laughs> Caesar! I can't believe we're on the same I train know, it's again. It's been a while. It's, it's, hey, YouTube! <laughs> is this one nice too? This one's nice. We're gonna have some scenic views. Yeah, we're gonna have some nice little beautiful views here and there. Good. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, all right? Yeah, thanks. Like and subscribe too. This, this trip has been shockingly easy so far. We're perfectly on time. The weather is incredible and wow, just hanging out with my dad is really nice. So nothing new to report on. It's all going well. But I don't wanna get ahead of myself because we've only been on board for six hours and we still have another 60 hours ahead of us. And off we go again. I can tell you it's a nice night for a train ride. Oh, look who's here. Look at that. That's a Brightline train. We were on that three weeks ago. What are they doing up here? They look brand new. They must be delivering them. The flat landscape of Missouri leaves lots of time for a long and lingering sunset. And on the other side of the car, the added treat of the moon hanging over the Mississippi River. And so once I've watched my first Missouri sunset, there's only one thing left to do. I don't have a watch on, but I figure by the fact that the sun's setting and we've had dinner and there's nothing else to do, might as well get this bed made up and go to bed. 
there's a foot pedal. Normally your car attendant will make the bed up for you, but I thought I'd give it a shot. There's me. Oh, How did we do so good. far? You're doing good. We got the post up, right? Right. Okay. No, Anything so else? That's it. You are set. Thanks. You got in me. I feel not needed. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we'll let you do it tomorrow <laughs> night, I promise. <laughs> All right. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. I guess which bunk do you want? Oh, I'll take the bottom one. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I, I'm realizing this now, but we should have brushed our teeth first because yes. we now have no room to get to the sink. <laughs> we also forgot that we didn't take our luggage out from under the bunk. So dad is... I got it. No, it's under the couch when it's in its shortest form. And when you pull it out, it's still way back there. Good thing he's still young and limber. We're done. Nice work, Dad. Arcadia Valley, Missouri has a little caboose at their station. Kind of what I like about taking these trips is you never know where you're going to go to sleep or where you'll wake up. So I guess tomorrow we'll find out where we wake up. This is, uh, it's snugger than I remember. This, there's really not much room here when you're lying down. Oh. Now I know how Harvey felt. Hope you're not claustrophobic. Right, just going to brush my teeth and go to sleep. All right, good See night. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Woo, good morning, Texas. Breakfast ends in 45 minutes, so time to go eat. This morning we have a three egg omelet, potatoes, sausage links. The way I'd describe this is edible. I promised my dad good food on this trip, so I'm really hoping we get this dining car for him soon. This cafe dinette is not as good of an experience as the dining car that we'll get tomorrow. <sighs> well, I guess we sit down, settle in, and a different spot on the train. That's all there is to do. Or nap. I should be taking notes. The man knows how to live the life. And so while he sleeps, I'll fill you in on the day. There are a lot of water towers in Texas. I mean, a lot. Some would say that the landscape is boring, but depending on where you're from in the world, this could be really interesting. So here we are, watching it all roll past until we arrive at our next big city and fresh air stop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dallas, Texas. Oh, that is warm. Can you tell we're a Canadian? It's a cool 97 degrees out here. These stops offer just enough time to stretch your legs, but not really enough time to go explore anything. So to keep entertained, I was looking around and spotted this tower behind us. But my dad seems to have found another building that's a little more interesting. So that is the book depository that you were saying. It is definitely the book depository. And that's the Daily Plaza. And that's the location where uh, President John Kennedy was shot. Yeah. We go <laughs> to go from here Dallas to San Antonio by car is four hours and 16 minutes Or if you take the train like we are it's over ten and a half hours. Yep, that includes lunch Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> always finding the positive side of things. Oh, yeah, that's the knoll right there That's the knoll. Yeah, oh, God, get that. And sure enough as we leave the Dallas station my my dad is right This is the spot where JFK was assassinated in 1963. Those, those are the things I didn't expect to see on this train trip, but I, that just goes to show, take the trip because you never know what you'll come across. Might not have been a very positive piece of history, but it's a historic moment in America, anyhow. And so, our ride across the second largest state continues. Fort Worth, Texas. I feel like we're doing the milk run. We have an hour and a half stop here. We're, we're not just making a lot of stops on this train, a lot of long stops. Oh, well, we're over 100 degrees now. Woo! Still, when you're on the train for four days, no matter how hot it is outside, you still get out for a minute. Stretch your legs, fresh air. Getting our steps in. I should check how many steps we've taken. <laughs> you weren't far off. 351 steps today, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon. That's, <laughs> that's not good. Oh yeah, 645. Oh, you've done more than me. Yeah, well, I got up early. You got up early. Alrighty, that's enough. Let's go get lunch. And I know it feels like we just had breakfast, but really, not much else happens on these trains. So this is called the Red Thai Noodle Box, and it's the vegan meal, and my dad and I both decided to try it. Just tastes fine. Yeah, you're right. Meatball's good too. When we had the salmon, I said it tasted like it looks. This one tastes like it should. And so to make things a little more fun, Amtrak is riding along some of the roughest stretch of track I've ever experienced. Okay. Which just means it's a much more, let's say, exciting afternoon. And as we continue south, the landscape gets drier and drier. I'm told Texas is both in a drought and a heat wave, but you can't feel it from the inside. 
Now it's over 100 degrees outside and I'm inside wearing my wool jacket while dad's wrapped up in the black <laughs> and blanket. The AC is going in here and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm cozy. Rough. Rocking, shaking, and yeah. cold with the air conditioning. <laughs> oh, wow. The old train. See the trains you told us about, Pat. We've got an old caboose here. And so we settle into our routine of stepping off the train at each fresh air stop. <laughs> There's that Texas heat again. 104. 104. To eating the next meal. Fingers crossed, the rumors are true. And tomorrow the food improves. Watching the American scenery pass by and stepping off at the next fresh air stop again. Austin, Texas. And this is where Caesar breaks the good news to us. It's going to be my final destination. Yeah. After that, a new crew from LA actually takes over from your car. So you're going to have actually a diner, uh, observation car, the whole deal after this. Okay. So you're not going to have it the same way right. you left it out here. So we came down on this train and they're going to reconnect us to a different train. Yeah. Basically, that's what's going to end up happening. I'm going to miss you. Uh, no problem. I'm going to miss you. We'll, we'll say goodbye. I will say goodbye. And my dad is excited. Next stop, San Antonio. That's where we get the dining car. Time is currently 10.58 and we're here waiting to get off because we have a unique opportunity to go see the San Antonio Riverwalk. San Antonio Riverwalk is beautiful. And we have about two, maybe three hours to go do it. I just, I just realized we've dressed the same again. Black shirts, black pants, gray shoes. What can I say? I had a good role model. My dad always taught me to enjoy life. So while Amtrak connects our car to the new train, we're heading out for a quiet time on the river walk. Little river, sunken below street level, and it has great shops and restaurants. I feel like we're finally getting our steps in too. I mean, this is the time to be here. It's not 100 degrees, it's what, 32 degrees? Then. And there's no one else on the river walk with us. But then we realized this is likely our last time off the train for the next two days. So just like he taught me, we decided to make the most of it. Wow. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. This is why I ride the train. <laughs> I think if I've learned anything from this guy, even still, at his age of 76, is to take the opportunity. No matter how short or small the window, Go enjoy it. Thanks for coming out with me, Dad. That was a pleasure, Mike. Oh, good. Absolutely. Oh, good. Made the whole trip worth it, and the trip's only half over. Only half over. See you in the morning. And after a short night's sleep, we're still in Texas. Coming up to the Seminole Canyon State Park and historic site. These are the views I wanted to see on this train. Well, a lot has changed overnight. Not only has the scenery changed, but also the configuration of our train for the better. We no longer have the half and half diner lounge, but if we walk through coach class, it will bring us to the moment we've all been waiting for. Then you get the observation car. And now the very last car on the train. We arrive at the dining car. Thank you. Look at that smile. Well, just let me say, the last two days, was just to prepare us for enjoying this. Yeah. What a different world. It's just gotten that much better. You'll notice the menu has changed to the traditional dining menu. This is the experience we've been waiting for. Eating a properly cooked breakfast along the Seminole Canyon State Park. I know it might not seem like a big difference, but eating microwave food for the last two days has us shockingly happy for this. It's starting to look like this four day trip across America wasn't such a big mistake after all. Still having fun with my dad, new food, and a new backdrop means there's only one thing left that can make this moment any better. Oh, this is good. I mean, the last thing I want in Texas is a hot, hot shower. All right, you get it. And now we settle back in for our regularly scheduled programming, which is more of this and a little of this. I have to learn to do that more often. The desert out here is beautiful in its own way, but I enjoy it from the room on a train. I would not want to be stuck out there or, or lost. Now that I'm showered and my dad is rested, we just sit here, sometimes quietly, sometimes talking. The colors are so real. They are. It's not very often I get to just sit and spend time with him that's not part of some sort of family event. I mean, we literally have nothing else to do right now. No Wi-Fi, no work, 
no schedule, nowhere to be. It's nice. I mean, but maybe the best part is that the man that taught me to enjoy the little things is right here with me and we're, we're living it together. Like this next unique experience. This is Alpine, Texas. We, we got off right in the middle of the road here, but there is a station. But what's really interesting is that the station is so short that our train blocks the road for the whole five minutes we're here. I just love that we get these fresh air stops in towns you'd never visit. Looks like a cute town. And apparently it's the gateway to Big Bend National Park as well. So I might just have to come back. Oh, cute. You gotta love these old stations. There's definitely a charm about this. Riding by rail. Here we go, back on board. See you next time, Alpine. It's lunchtime. Lunchtime. <laughs> Yes. So we sit down again and order the regular burger and the veggie burger and trade it halves so we could both try them. And if this is lunch in the dining car, I'm so excited about dinner tonight. And with the new dining car, means we get proper desserts. As we're rolling along the southern border of Texas, you'll see some interesting things. This full-size Prada store is apparently some sort of art installation. There are a lot of dust tornadoes out here. Apparently that blimp is used by Customs and Border Patrol. So this little town here with a population of just 235 people swells on February 14th to thousands of people because everyone wants to mail their Valentine's Day cards from here, the town of Valentine, Texas. But after all that excitement, we're coming to the part of the trip that I was worried about boredom on, on a train trip that is four days long two days of which have been in a single state out of cell service for most of the time between cities and stuck in a room with nothing else to do except to look out on this unique landscape i mean it really does remind you how big america is and even when it feels like there's nothing to see there's always something to look at particularly when you're stopped with delays. There's a freight train ahead of us with a knuckle issue, so Union Pacific is up there trying to fix it, but we don't know how long we'll be stuck here. There's just the two of us and that cow out there, <laughs> and that's it. We're appreciating the moment. It's the desert brings perspective. As some of these scenes feel like they were sets in a Western movie, while others are just kind of mesmerizing. Either way, that's why an announcement, any announcement, becomes all the excitement the train needs. We are now going to go up outside, grab some cash, and meet the uh, world famous El Paso Burrito Queen. Yeah. Meet the Burrito Queen. Sounds good, El Paso. Oh, that is something I definitely have to try. Brisket from the El Paso Burrito Queen. Three dollars. She's lined up 30 people deep. I didn't think El Paso would be that nice of a station, but when there's food, and is this good? Yeah, make the stop, make the stop. So after El Paso, we took the opportunity to go sit in the observation car, and this is everything we dreamed of. <laughs> Leaving El Paso has us riding along the famous border wall, but also crossing the Rio Grande River, which was also the lunch I ordered two episodes ago at the Red Caboose Motel. But it also means we finally left Texas and we've entered New Mexico. Finally, we've been in Texas since yesterday morning. And as the New Mexico landscape changes and rolls along, well, my dad is in for a dinner delight. Dad? Yes. You notice? Oh, yes. White linen tablecloth. Very nice. Dad, last night together, dinner in New Mexico at 80 miles per hour at sunset. Doesn't get better. Fabulous. It's a good way to end a good trip. Yeah. I think you can tell that our mood has improved. The new dining car and the observation car have given us new life. I mean, it really is four days of sitting and eating, but dad here is great company and easy to travel. This salmon is so much better than the microwave salmon. Than the flex dining menu salmon you had the other day? So much better. Wow. Uh, I think the decision is clear. We both much prefer the proper dining car over the flexible dining menu. It's important for me to mention that the cost of meals is included in your room at ticket, but don't forget to tip your servers. Now, regardless of which dining car you get, it's always nice to have time to sit down together. Sometimes these small moments are more valuable than the big adventurous trip itself. If there's anything this train has done, it's shown me parts of this country I would never otherwise get to see. That's the station. That's the Amtrak station, right there, that little bench. Oh, right. that, and it's given me time with my dad, which I never would have taken. As adults, we never just get to spend four full, undistracted days with our parents anymore. Whether <laughs> you want to or not, 
is another thing. It's been a hell of a trip. <laughs> really, it's been amazing. It's been a little slow in places, but really exciting in some. Uh, and I want to thank you for bringing me along. It's great. And I'm ready to come any other trips you want. Okay, I guess we'll uh, leave it in the comments down below where we should go to next. And with a little lightning overnight, we wake up on our last day in California. We know we're in California because all of the wind turbines are clearly charging Teslas, and as we pull into the sand-blown station of Palm Desert. But really, I feel like the landscape and scenery from this trip is so uniquely American, nowhere else in the world could you get a sunrise like this. And that's why riding the train through seven states for four days has been worth it. I mean, this trip has been great, but I'd love to ride something a little more luxurious. Wait, does mom have a birthday next week? Yeah, it's next Saturday. And so, as a last minute birthday gift, I take my mom on America's most luxurious train, the new Rocky Mountaineer Rockies to Red Rocks, taking us from Denver, Colorado, through the Rocky Mountains to the Red Rocks of Moab, Utah. But this isn't just any train. This is a five-star experience with a hotel stop in the middle so we don't miss a minute of this epic landscape. So subscribe and come back next week to see America's most luxurious train right here or join and become a member to watch it right now. Trust me, the experience gets a little rocky and it's going to be a wild ride. Well, that looks like a good time. Let's do that. Dad, I'm sorry, I love you, but I'm switching you for mom. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. I'll see you next week on the Rocky Mountaineer, America's most luxurious train. On Downey Live, travels by train. And it's over. <laughs>